Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Kelvin from Make3DComics.com and BlackSunComics.com and this is part two of my review of DZ Fires, Nernies, Greebles, Parts and Pieces. Stay tuned. <laughs> So in my last video, I discussed using kit bashing as a method to customize your models. If you haven't seen that video, click the thumbnail that appears to take a look at it now. If not, we'll get into some more details about nernies, greebles, parts, and pieces. In this video, I'm going to detail how to load those parts into a scene and then position those parts within that scene, parent those parts to another 3D model, and lastly, texture those parts. So let's begin. So first to find it, I need to go to my Smart Content tab, which I happen to have over here at the, uh, the left-hand side of my screen, so Smart Content. And I believe it is under Props. So make sure your Files is selected, right? You're not under Products, but you're under Files. And you want to go to Props. And I'm just going to expand this and scroll down, and I believe... It's under other? I think it's under other. Okay, I was right. So there, it's under other. So here's all the parts. And there's lots of stuff that you have in the kit. And right now what I'm going to do is just choose something. I don't know what I'm going to choose, but I'll just choose something that I think looks interesting. And I'll walk you through the process of how to actually use this product. You know, I think I saw one up here that I like. I'll use this one. This looks kind of like a car engine. So let's load this in. I'm going to double click it. And here it is. So it appears down there. So first thing I want to do is position it. And I'm going to need my parameters tab, which I happen to have open over here. And I'm not exactly sure where I'm going to put it, but let's see. Oh, here we go. I want the X. Okay, so let's make this minus 90. Just going to key that number in. I'll make that 0, and I'll make this 0. And I think I'm going to position this on the back of this mech. I'm just going to drag it back and drag it up. And let's turn this around and see where it is. Let's zoom in a bit. So you can use the parameters tab, but then I'm also using uh, this tool here, uh, the universal tool, just to kind of position it. I'll bring this out a bit here, like so. And maybe I move it over just a touch more. And bring it down just a tad. Okay, that looks okay to me. Okay, so that's all in, that that's all that's involved in um in positioning it. Now you can also do more things to this. I can uh, I believe I should be able to scale this. So I could scale it along the x axis if I wanted to. I could scale it along the Y axis. I could scale it along the Z axis. Or just scale everything all together if I wanted it bigger. I wonder what that looks like. Yeah, let's go with that. Sure, why not? So now the next thing that I'll need to do is I'll need to parent this part to the rest of the mech. And the reason why that's important is, I'll just come over to my scene tab here. And I'll, so if I select heavy mech, and then go to my parameters again, and what I'll do is I'll just rotate heavy mech. Uh, let's do an X rotation. Go to rotation. So you see, as I move it, the part that I loaded in stays here and the rest of it moves. Now I don't want that. I want this to move with the heavy mech. 
So I need to parent it. And you can think of parenting like gluing them both together. So basically, I'm going to glue this part to the rest of the mech by doing an action called parenting. And parenting is pretty simple. I'm just going to right click on uh, the part that I want to parent. And as, as I scroll down the context menu that appears, you'll see here, change ENG01. ENG01 is the name of the part that I loaded. Uh, change the parent. So I'm going to click that. And I'm going to scroll up until I find heavy mech. Click accept. And now it should be parented. So now if I go back to my scene tab, okay, heavy mech is selected. And I'm just going to rotate it again. I'll do the same X rotation. And you'll see as I rotate it, that part moves along with it. So now the last thing that I need to do is add a texture to it because although I like the shape of it, you know, obviously it's not matching with the, the rest of the mech. So the way I like to do this is I'll find my surface selection tool. There it is. And I'll use the same texture that was on, actually I'll use the same texture that, that's on this. Let's see. Go to surfaces. Where's my surfaces tab? I don't have my surfaces tab up. Okay, that's fine. So the way to, to get a tab, if it's not showing, you can just right click in this space here, this margin. And when you right click, it says add a pane. And I'm just going to scroll down until I find surfaces. I click that. And there's my surfaces tab. So I'm going to go to the editor. And if I go to diffuse, it shows me the path for that particular texture that's been applied to this part, this engine part of the mech. So what I'm going to do is just reuse this texture for this. Let's do whoops, not body standard. Yeah, let's go with that. So that's how easy it is to do. Uh, you just load your part in, you scale it, position it where you want it to be. Then you parent it to the base model and then add a texture. And there's your customization. So that's my review of Nerny's Greebles Parts and Pieces. Join me next time where I'll discuss some of the best places, in my opinion, to get 3D content. In the meantime, please visit us at blacksuncomics.com where you can download a free preview of our first book, Black Sun, The Longest Night. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Be sure to check out some of the other Daz Studio tutorials on my channel. And until next time, take care. Peace.